Hi everyone, my name is Sam Bettens and I'm a dad, a musician, and a transgender man. Happy Pride Month. I had been thinking about how I could contribute with a vlog this month. Then the other morning, as I wandered through the campground, making my way to the men's room without a single care, I realized this would have been a completely different experience if I had been a trans woman especially a trans woman who's not passing. Actually, I probably would never go camping again, period. Even here in liberal California, one hour from my house. I'm sure there were plenty of like-minded people there, but in a place with a lot of big trucks and American flags flying around, it's not too hard to imagine that a few of them would not take too kindly to my kind. And then I started thinking, what else would I be afraid of as a trans woman? Waiting at the school gate for my kids, walking into a car dealership, going to the gym, airport security, the possible cruelty of my kids' friends. I could probably make a list a mile long. In 2023 alone, 560 anti-trans bills have been proposed in the US, 83 of which have already passed. Most of this is politically motivated, of course. Bills introduced by politicians who don't really care either way, but who have found a way to monger fear and appeal to their transphobic base. But that doesn't make it any less serious. Real lives, young and old, human rights are at stake, and we should fight back. One way to do this is to speak up. Whether you're LGBTQ plus or an ally, take every opportunity to show your support, no matter how small. Whether it's by wearing a t-shirt, asking a colleague not to use a derogatory term, attending a pride event, or complimenting a trans woman on her beautiful earrings. If we don't believe that small gestures can make a difference and we're also not participating in grand gestures, then how do we expect to see any change? I don't want to minimize or diminish my own journey, but I can state with conviction that mine has been relatively easy compared to many others. That's why I feel compelled to do my part, find ways to normalize the trans conversation and vocally stand up for my community. I hope you will too. Happy Pride. And as always, I love you. I appreciate you. Hang loose.